and welcome to the next video so since I'm running out of my cosmetic products which I bought once um, I am trying to make my own homemade cosmetic and that's why I am filming this video I want to talk about the products that I am using and that I'm making on my own so enjoy Let's start with hair. The product that I'm using is Dr. Brana's Baby Mild um, Nature Soap. It's actually for everything. You can use it for hand wash, body wash, washing your hair, also for dish wash, almost like for everything. It's a great product. The only thing that it's kind of a minus is um, it's packed in a plastic. It lasts actually really long time because you don't need to use a lot of it. Next thing that I use for my feet is my homemade toothpaste and it looks like this. As you can see I am really using it and it's great. Only three ingredients, coconut oil, arrowroot powder and um, peppermint essential oil that's it <laughs> after I brush my teeth I use my mouthwash which is basically just a water and sage um, there will be a recipe coming up I think in November so make sure that you stay tuned organic peppermint essential oil. Here is my uh, body lotion. Oh my god, it smells like heaven. So it's also homemade and uh, made it out of uh, coconut oil, shea butter, cocoa butter and I also add um, essential oils. If you have sensitive skin like me, um, be careful and try to find out if your skin uh, reacts to essential oils. You have to find out, you know you better, you know your body, so give it a try at least. Also for a very sensitive skin you can use almond oil and jojoba oil. What you can also add to your body lotion or your or for your body wash is um, vitamin E. It's actually very good for your skin. And you only need like one or two drops, so it um, lasts forever. The next thing I have here is this cute soap. Sweet almond. Ingredients that I'm using for my body cosmetic products are cocoa butter, which I buy in bulk. I have here a she butter, organic virgin she butter, and of course, coconut oil. A lot of people say that coconut oil is actually not good for your skin. Okay, um, they can have it, but uh, for me it's working perfectly and as I said, my skin is really sensitive. It smells amazing and it's really moisturizing and um, it's perfect. So for the future I want to make a hand cream, body wash, lip balm and a hand wash. And I'm so excited because I love to make my own stuff because it's all natural, no chemicals, it's all vegan, it smells like heaven and I produce less waste and less trash and that's really important. The last thing I want to say is if you decide to make your own stuff, please make sure that you use only raw ingredients. 100% organic, unrefined and unprocessed. It's really really important also for your skin so that no chemicals can get into your body. 
I'm also interested in what kind of product are you guys using if you make also things by yourself please let me know down in the comments i will be very very glad so that was it for now i hope you liked the video if so please give it a thumbs up if you want to know more on this topic and about the products that i'm using make sure that you read my blog and if you don't want to miss any of my other videos make sure you subscribe to my channel I love you and I wish you awesome day and I hope I will see you soon. Bye.